Here's Cummins, he can control it. Pickering, Brown, McGinley spare outside of him, Brown goes it. And down goes Avramovic. It's one of Sunderland's more direct attacks. Brown had the option of McGinley outside of him, but came inside for the shot at goal himself. Not really connecting true. Mark bringing it down. It's nearly a careless one. Picked up by McCulloch and now Chidozi. Now McCulloch, good effort. It all did well. He was sharp then, Ian McCulloch. But it was some slackness at the back that let them in. Chidozi pulling the ball back, McCulloch in there, and Siddall reacting well. And supports as well, and finds McGinley. Still with McGinley. Goodwin got a leg in there, and comes away with it himself. Chidozi is out wide on the right and hooks on the left. Something in spread here, and they've got the extra man as well, if they can only cash in. Here goes Shidozi. And the tackle was outside. Appeals plaintively for the penalty. But really, the break there deserved better with County outnumbering Sunderland, but the tackle quite clearly outside the area. I know the offender organising the wall. Four men for Sunderland. Harkook. And we could expect to see Goodwin and Hooks breaking to try and baffle Siddall with the Sunderland wall. Brian goes, there goes Harkook. Oh, that is a superb goal, but the referees disallowed it. Indirect. Indirect, he had said, I think, for the free kick is what he is signalling. And he put it straight in, so it doesn't count, so it's a goal kick as the ball had gone over the goal line. So they're going to bring on their substitute, John Cook. And it's going to be John McGinley who comes off. John McGinley in his third game for Sunderland. It goes off to be replaced by John Cook. A straight swap, a forward for a forward. And I can imagine that Cummins go out wide to try and maintain the degree of width Sunderland looking to achieve. And here comes Cook straight into the action. Cummins at the far post. Brown, he scored. And the substitution pays off immediately because it was Cook who set up the chance. And Alan Brown cashed in. And a rare moment for Roker Park to celebrate. Here's Cook, he'd only been on the pitch seconds. He got the cross in, looking for Cummins at the far post, and the little fella did well. And Alan Brown dived in there to cash in. So Alan Brown gives Sunderland the lead. His first goal for Sunderland this season. It's Sunderland one, Notts County nil. So Alan Durban at last gets a goal to look at after five games without one. goals if that had gone in <laughs> certainly Barry sort of could not have been expecting that one Hennigan under no real pressure and certainly with the time to knock that one back <laughs> Siddle really had to scurry across there his first goal for Sunderland kept his balance blocked by the back of Gil Klein Goodwin was in there Pickering was in there again but finally Harkook could police the ball back to Avramovic to Benjamin Gordon there 
for a shot perhaps still could be on good effort really did work the opening for the shooting chance there certainly was on waited again had another look and Siddle will tip that one over Bill Klein again getting up it's McCulloch now oh that is superbly finished off by Ian McCulloch and he is absolutely delighted about that one and no wonder it was a towering header by Kill Klein that set him through he weighed it all up he kept cool and he measured that chip to perfection and the small bunch of Notts County fans who've made the trip have had their visit well rewarded Genozzi brought down by Cummins and the free kick there imagine Rashid Harkook more than most will be more than keen to determine whether it is direct or indirect having had one chalked off into extra time added on by Mr Richardson for injuries and stoppages with four men there in the wall Harkook and O'Brien the men standing over it and the kick is direct tries one off the crossbar that was a superb effort Goodwin pumps it back and that piece of action ends the first half with O'Brien hitting the bar from the free kick so the scoreline ends 1-1 which will be a pleasing result for Notts County after trailing to the goal by Alan Brown scored after 64 minutes minutes which look to be giving Sunderland three points for the first time since the beginning of the season